Step five, using a wooden dowel or eraser end of a pencil, push the short sewn end through the bookmark in order to turn it right side out. And then you can use the corner point of your seam gauge, a point turner, to turn that right side out. You're gonna press it so it's nice and flat and the edges look good. So, dowel, wood stick, closed corner. You're going to twist this a little bit so you can grab both sides and you're just going to start stuffing this sewn end in. Once it's started, use your stick to push it the rest of the way through. Voila! The right side shows. As long as you're careful, this point of your seam gauge is a point turner. It will allow you to get the corners out a little bit more smoother down here. Please be careful. If you cut too close, you could poke your way straight out the end of your bookmark. So you're just going to stick the seam gauge down in here. And just kind of work this corner out a little bit. Going careful so we don't poke a hole through. And there we go, looks pretty nice and square now. Now we need to iron it so that this seam is as close to the edge as possible and is nice, flat, and crisp. Kind of rub it back and forth to get that seam right on the edge. And if it's right on the edge, take your iron and we are doing pressing. Pressing is different than ironing. Instead of moving back and forth to get rid of a wrinkle, we're just going to press straight down, add some pressure, add some steam, and hold for like a count of 10 to purposely put in a crease. Okay, once right there is good, you can lift it up, move it down, make sure the next portion is lined up nice with that edge. And press again. Hold some good pressure for about 10 seconds. I like to go down it a second time for good measure. There we go. A nice flat ironed bookmark. 